The following portion of Daytime Tri-Cities is sponsored by Umoja. Honoring Black History. Mind. Body. Soul. Well, this morning we continue our special series honoring Black History Month. Today's guest is the first equity and inclusion officer at the college level at ETSU. We are honored to welcome Dr. Daryl Carter back to the show. Good to have you. Thank you so much. Good morning. Well, you were talking about your new role and really coming up, I guess, on that one-year anniversary of this new position at ETSU. Yes, it's been a wonderful time. It's been extremely busy. We've been working on programming, working on guiding students, working on helping faculty uh, in their teaching roles. It's been a wonderful experience, and, and we have a lot more coming. So when you took on this new role at ETSU, what were some of the missions, some of the objectives of trying to kind of bring people to the table? Well, one, we want to uh, express the importance of uh, equity and inclusion. We want everybody to have a seat at the table. We want our faculty, our students, our staff, no matter where they come from, who, how they identify themselves, to have a seat at that table and know that uh, they are part of the ETSU family. The second part of that is we want our people uh, to uh, get a diverse experience academically, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in history, my home academic department, or it's music or theater. We want them to get a well-rounded educational experience that incorporates the stories, the narratives, the, the experiences, and the histories of everybody. And you, of course, have been part of the ETSU family for a long time, since 2008. Sort of take me back to where the university was kind of when you started and where we've gone through these years. Well, the university was very different in many ways back then. Dr. Powell Stanton was president. Uh, Dr. Nolan was still about four years out before mm -hmm. he came here. Um, we were a little bit bigger in terms of the overall enrollment, uh, but we were already on a path, a trajectory towards a more equitable uh, future. And so I was really excited about becoming a part of the faculty because I had been a student. I had come from the student ranks. And so for me, uh, to watch the university not only go along that path, but take these huge steps forward uh, to benefit all faculty, staff, and students has been a real pleasure. Because, Dr. Carter, it seems like the university has always had such pride mm -hmm. in its students and its story and right. bringing people together from all yes. different backgrounds. So really, this was kind of that natural progression. Absolutely. We're, we are always growing. We are always changing. We are always striving to do uh, the best that we possibly can for ourselves and for the region that we serve. And so in the 25 years that I've been in this community uh, and been a part of that campus overall, it has been a wonderful experience to watch us not only grow but develop to learn new things to adapt to the changes that society has brought us and to give a world-class experience to our students and a wonderful place to work for our faculty and staff and as we embrace that environment yeah. what is your vision where do you see this program going I see us becoming a key part of the College of Arts and Sciences insofar as it relates to making sure that our students are getting a diverse experience, mm -hmm. making sure our faculty have the support that they need, and making sure that our uh, uh, students overall are able to be uh, well prepared for the work environment that they're going to inherit in a very short period of time. And I know one of the things you still love is working with the students and yes. developing those relationships. Yes, I'm still in the classroom. I still teach. I still work with them. They are terrific. We have the best kids around. Uh, the, uh, you know, they are smart. They are committed. They want to do well, and we're doing everything we can to support them. That's wonderful. Well, Dr. Carter, thanks so much for joining us, being part of the discussion today. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more of daytime coming up right after this. The preceding portion of Daytime Tri-Cities was sponsored by Umoja.